The Federal Capital Territory High Court sitting in Apo and presided by Justice Binta Mohammed has granted the application for a judicial review filed by spokesperson of the CUPP, Ikenga Imo Gochinyeri, to restrain the Wusa Chief Magistrate from going ahead with the trial of a case of criminal defamation brought against him by the Inspector General of Police on the alleged instigation of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Gwajabi Amela, and the Clerk of the National Assembly. It will be recalled that on the 22nd of June 2020, the CPP spokesperson was arraigned before the Wuse Zone 2 Chief Magistrate Court in charge number CR-12-2020 on allegations of criminal defamation following reports of the Speaker and the Clerk of the National Assembly. By this ruling of the FCT High Court, the charges have been quashed and the trial terminated as the High Court has held that the Chief Magistrate acted without jurisdiction beyond her jurisdiction. The court also directed the defendants, whether by themselves or acting jointly or through their agents, prohibiting them from further conducting any hearing or proceedings against the claimant. By this order of court, the Inspector General of Police and other security agencies are hereby effectively restrained from arresting or prosecuting Ikenga Imo Guchinyeri on the set of facts which comprise the allegation brought against him by Speaker Femi Gwajabi Amela and his allies. It is clear from the judgment, from the ruling that was given today, that proper service were made and they didn't respond to that effect. So you have no response, which means they have admitted that what all we are saying are true and facts. So their inability to file is best known to them, but the rules and the procedures must be followed. So they can't come back and say they were not given notice. The court has made it clear. In his response to the ruling, the CPP spokesperson praised the judge for acts of rare courage in delivering such judgment in a regime that stops at what he calls nothing to intimidate and emasculate the judiciary. Today's victory is not just about me. It's about everybody who believes that things is going on wrong in the country and is speaking out. There was no reason for this charge. It was the federal government working with the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajami Amila, and a little unknown Pascal Obi that fabricated this criminal charge. There was no basis for it. How was I undermining government? How was I engaging in defamation? There was no basis. And this judgment today has given me more energy to continue to speak out. The CPP spokesman also thanked the people of Idia to a federal constituency and all Nigerians, urging them to keep faith with the Nigerian opposition so that they can have an opportunity to reclaim and rescue Nigeria in the 2023 general elections. Oluwatobieni, Vibe TV.